This video was brought to you by Bedroom Planner, Ken Power, Marcus Beal, and Stormberg. Yo, what's up? We are now at Circle K Berger, and I start this episode by showing you some chargers. So this will be a little mixed episode with several locations, and I want to show this one, which is a new charging site. Well, actually, it's not. I mean, this is not the, the only chargers around here. Uh, over there, you can actually see the sign. Let me zoom in and show you. We have Fortum. Well, I mean, recharge now. They had 50 kilowatt there for the longest time. And then over there, we have also two times 50 kilowatts. Uh, it used to be Grengotak Mer. So, okay, they've taken over their payment for it and they rebranded it. And then these ones are brand spanking new. So you recognize them. It's from Alpetronic. It's the hypercharger. And um, I mentioned before, hypercharger comes in two versions. We have the, the fat version and the thin version. It's easy to see it on this side that if you see that it has placeholder for four plugs, this is the fat version. And then the thin version is half of this width. And this one can uh, take, well, it says here, it is configured for four power modules of 300 kilowatts, or then it has to be split or something. Wait. Uh, yeah, 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 I forgot. The hypercharger is 900 volt based. Let me see, where is that? Uh, uh, there, 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 let me see. So actually, if you come here with a Taycan, you will get maximum speed if you stay here alone. Yeah, uh, 270 kilowatt roughly on the Taycan. So very nice to have, uh, finally you have high power chargers over here. And you see I'm driving the GTX. So let me tell you also about what's, what's up with the GTX. I'm going on a road trip, a long road trip. Um, the first, first how it was, was that I was going to take an ID4 to North Cape. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm going to make this a tradition that every year I take a trip to North Cape and I pick one car, but I don't pick the best or the most expensive car. I pick maybe the most popular car or a car I want to highlight. And it should be some kind of, uh, well, a leaf just came. Okay, let's uh, get inside the car. So I chose the ID4 because I saw that it was quite popular. So naturally, when I make a trip to the North Cape, I will get lots of views. So um, that was the plan. And then I also wanted to take a trip to uh, Tromsø with wifey. And then uh, I figured out that, hey, um, why don't I go to, I mean, from Tromsø to, to North Cape, it's not that far. And instead of me taking a trip by myself to North Cape and back again, like I did last year, uh, it is going to take around five days, roughly, up by myself. Of course, just hammer, hammer, hammer. And then I have to take another trip to Tromsø with wifey with uh, the Model 3 Standard Range Plus. And I convinced wifey to come with me in the ID4. So then I was like, okay, you know, why not? Uh, and then uh, Mölle just provided me uh, with a GTX instead. They, they, they asked me, hey, do you want to do the trip with the GTX? I said, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> so here we have it. I'm going, uh, yeah, by the time you guys see this, I will be already on my trip. So, and then some new, some updates because people keep asking me. So I might as well say it in this video because I don't need to say it in one dedicated video, which is that um, I will be testing the... Um, the Ionic 5 soon. It will be by the end of, uh, uh, where is it? which date was it? 26th or 27th of July. Yes, that's right. You heard it. <laughs> the weird thing is that it's already out in dealerships. Even other people have been testing it in Norway at dealerships. Uh, and then why do I get it so late? Because uh, it's a press car. It's not from a dealership. It's from uh, Hyundai Norway. And um, I only get to keep it for one day. Well, I technically 29 hours. So um, I have a plan to try to do all the tests I need within 29 hours. And then I'm going to pump some Red Bull. Okay, I, I might avoid Red Bull, but yeah, I, I don't know why I got the car so late. Uh, one thing I might not have time for is the banana box test and the interior review, but I might borrow one from a dealership uh, somewhere because I, I still wonder why I get it so late because uh, enough and Elbil Föreningen and maybe other people, they've been able to borrow the press car already, except for me. So yeah, so that's what's up with uh, that car. And then people also ask me, what about the EV6? Well, the EV6, who knows about the EV6 when it's coming? I think I heard around September, maybe. Uh, it's a Kia, by the way. 
Yes, um, and then people ask me, hey, uh, why don't you test the Model Y? Why haven't you tested Model Y yet? Well, let me tell you that Model Y has not come to Europe yet. The videos you guys have been seeing is Model Y in America. So who knows when the Model Y will come to, to Europe? It's just Elon time, you know? Who knows? Next year, maybe, okay? And then uh, people also ask me, when are you testing the, the Mercedes EQS? Same thing there is who knows when it's going to arrive in Norway. Uh, I heard I asked Mercedes about this and said maybe around September, October. Yeah. So and what about other cars? Uh, yeah. So um, anyway, now I think we are going uh, downtown. Wait, was there something else I want to announce? No, no, I think that was it. So let's go downtown. I'm going to show you some new V3 superchargers. We are now at Centrum Pehus, also called uh, Ibsen Garagen, and we are now in the Plan 2, it's called. So uh, when you enter the thing, you have to drive down the ramp uh, from the first level onto the lower one, and you will see that uh, once you come, if you come from that direction, you will see this sign, and you see Elbil parking and whatever, EV parking, Plan 2, and then you turn left, over here and the superchargers will be lo located over here and you know in other countries uh, at least in america they go for urban chargers 72 kilowatt only but fortunately in norway and i guess other european countries we will get full v3 superchargers so um i counted 18 stalls here uh yeah and these are, you can see it's a V3 because uh, it has only the CCS plug and these are water-cooled cables. But interestingly, you know, in the past, Tesla has been actually posting about this. Everyone claimed that a V3 has one mega charger stack divided by four stalls. Well, if you do the math here, uh, six of these 18 stalls, that means three on each stall. Yeah, so that's different because it's not four per stall, it's three per stall. But um, if we read the sign here, let's see, I'm going to try to zoom in so you can read anything at all. You will see that it says a lot of stuff, yeah? But the important thing is here, input power, 575 kilowatts. I think that's what is then divided by, you see, pulse DC output, this one, 250 kilowatts so that's the maximum but you see that this one supports 1000 volt so it seems like the v3 has been uh, uh, designed to support future 800 volt based uh, teslas but um, 575 kilowatt divided by three stalls that's almost 200 kilowatt each stall not the the four not the one megawatt uh, and the four stall thing so just to, to let you know that this is the way it works, actually. Not the whole, <laughs> I don't know where they came from, the whole one megawatt charger and whatever. So you, you will also recognize these in other V3 locations. But uh, interesting, uh, the way they put them. Now, so I want to talk about something, which is, um, you know, any Tesla can charge here, but as for now, only Teslas can charge here. Other EVs, no use for you. But, uh, if you have cars that can charge for free, how much will it cost then? It's free, right? Well, it's free except for that you have to pay 24 hours per day here. You have to pay for, um, uh, for, for parking. Uh, so uh, as soon as you get in here, you have automated uh, license plate recognition. And it's 38 nook per half an hour you start. So um, then the question is, how long do you need to charge it? Do you need to charge 30 minutes or one hour? So I try to time it with the GTX. This is the first time I come here to look for the supercharger. So I used roughly one minute from I saw that uh, sign that says welcome license plate EC whatever 58 until I got here. So I guess if you know your way here, you can hammer it and get in here. And oh, don't hammer it. Don't drive too fast. It's a parking lot. But um, let's say worst case you have two minutes of overhead to enter and then maybe two minutes to exit so that means four minute overhead and then so within half an hour you can charge for roughly 25 minutes 
And then I did the math that if you charge for 25 minutes on a Model 3 with hot battery and low steady charge, best case, uh, you will get, oh, I don't remember how many kilowatt hour, but uh, the price you have to pay extra is around 0.7 nook per kilowatt hour, which is 7, cent, seven euro cents. So that's the price on top of if you have to pay for supercharging. And then uh, for Model S and X with big battery, they charge a little bit slower. So then roughly one nook per kilowatt hour for those cars, given best case again. Uh, if you don't have hot battery in winter or whatever, if you have 50% and you come here, you might also pay one nook or maybe 1.5 nook per kilowatt hour. And the same goes for cars that uh, like classic cars like Millennium Falcon, which free supercharging, but they don't charge that fast. So then you also pay roughly 1.5 nook per kilowatt hour. It's still damn cheap compared to home charging because this is DC after charging loss. But uh, if you have access to home charging, you know, there is no, no, there is no such thing as free lunch, right? So then uh, you probably want to charge other places instead slow charge rather than coming here because I don't recommend buying a Tesla and only rely on fast charging because you have to come in here, okay, it's open 24 seven, but you have to waste time because I only mentioned the overhead from, from the entrance, but I don't know who, where you live. You might have to drive back and forth and it will cost you another 15 minutes just so you can fill up the car. But I know some people have done that in the past. I met people at Hoko Supercharger at Bergen. They bought a Tesla with free supercharging, uh, partly because of me, <laughs> or, and then they only supercharge it, maybe because of a temporary solution or they actually do that on permanent basis, but yeah. But at least, here you have it, V3 superchargers. I'm happy that they went for V3 because if they only went for 72 kilowatts, then it will also be kind of expensive. But I heard now that uh, these city chargers are coming. And also Elon said that, well, I heard this from Tesla. I don't remember who it was, but you know, these chargers will eventually be open. So it's not a question of if Tesla will open it. It's a question of when they're going to do it. So eventually, hopefully, <laughs> other cars will also be able to get access to it. I talked about this before, but as for now, only Teslas. And they will open this uh, Thursday next week. But Thursday next week, I will not be here because I will be on a road trip with the GTX on my way to uh, North Cape. So anyway, yes, interesting. Uh, now I'm going to uh, check out NIO. They're building something in Oslo. And then we're gonna check out some uh, boat chargers. We're now at Karl Johansgate. This is uh, the bigger, one of the bigger streets in Oslo. You can see uh, it is mostly a walking street, very centralized. And you know, all the, like we have Grand, Grand Hotel, you know, top of the crop, expensive. Uh, the walking street goes all the way over there. And at least nearby here, we have Louis Vuitton and the expensive, uh, stuff and also down there we have some shopping and some restaurants or whatever and right in the middle here Car the Carl Johan and the Rosenkranzgate Neo is building something so uh, let me see there is a QR code that you can scan if you want to know more I'm not sure what what where it goes but uh, you should be able to scan this so Neo uh, I have some connections with NEO. Well, let me show you how big it is, by the way. It's freaking huge. And you can imagine getting this location in, at Carl Johan. These guys have some money. <laughs> you see, NEO, uh, next generation car manufacturer, technology is the key. I tried NEO before, the ES8 in München. Oh, I, I want to poke in there to see what's going on. I mean, uh, let me see, can I see? No, 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 okay, not much to see. But I bet this is going to be a showroom. Uh, similar to Polestar, they have Polestar a little bit further down there, but uh, the location of Polestar is not as nice as Neos. So uh, I tried the ES8 many years ago, uh, but it was a Chinese version. And I guess they will be bringing out ES6, ES8, and also the ET7. Hopefully <laughs> we can see this over here. And yeah, yeah, by the way, but okay, okay, okay. So um, I've been seeing uh, an e ES8 around Oslo 
around Norway actually. First I saw it around Oslo, I took a picture of it. Uh, it was near the Thai embassy, just happened to be there. And then I also saw, I don't know if you guys saw it, in one of the road trips. Uh, yeah, it was with, um, with the e-tron GT road trip. Uh, I overtook it uh, on the way to, uh, oh, where is it again? Suleskar. So supposedly uh, there were some Chinese people driving it. I bet they are driving around Norway just to test the charging network and just to drive around with it. Uh, so Neo is doing something here. <laughs> yeah. So we will see. Hopefully, what will I, I can show you on the other side, by the way. Let's stand on one place here. So, yeah, this is just a construction site. But just to show you, get over there. Okay, here. It's going to be big. This is freaking huge. <laughs> so they are really investing in Norway. Yeah, blue sky coming. You see, <laughs> all of this is going to be Neo. Uh, how big is it really? How many hundred of square meters is it? All the way here, supposedly they're building something. Yeah, but yeah, so anyway, yes. About, oh, what's this, what's this, what's this? What is this? What is this? I see a hole, I poke in it. Well, but okay, I mean, they, they're not gonna have cars in here yet. Yeah, okay, nothing to see, nothing to see. But I have connection with Neo. Um, I talked to them a long time ago. I borrowed the car from München. I emailed them about the ES8 in Norway. They haven't responded. Maybe I have to email another guy. But uh, looking fresh, right? Yeah. So the last thing I will do is check out the bolt charger. Okay, last location for the day is Akebrygge. You know Akebrygge. Uh, over here we have something cool. It's called Elbothavn. Uh, Elbot is electric boat. And you guys remember Cruiser? I made a video about it. Uh, we went on, uh, yeah, these boats, the cruiser boats. So now they, I guess they partner with green boats. And maybe, I don't know if they have some stuff with municipality, but you can check out again the QR code. I'm not sure if you can uh, scan this one or this one, green boats. But uh, yeah, let's check it out. So we have sub chargers over here. This is just AC. And uh -huh. okay, that's interesting. So this is uh, uh, 16 amp. Yeah, this is 16 amp plug. I guess those bolts here, they use 16, yeah, 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 they see? The cruiser bolts, they use a 16 amp. Wait, did they get more cruiser bolts? Hmm. Okay, but, oh wow, okay, wait a minute. So let me see, how do you activate these? Um, I'm not sure which app you need. BKK, okay, ah, ah, BKK, yes. Uh, I think actually these will show up on BKK app. The same, the same app you have for, uh, for charging cars. I, I guess we can, uh, we can quickly check it out now. So let's see, I have all these apps. As an EV driver, you need all these apps and here's the BKK app. And let's see if it shows up. Hey, look at this. Plug Akebrygge. Okay, so we have one type 222 kilowatt and then CCS. Really? Huh. Yeah, so we are the BKK app, but a uh, big mystery is why does it only show up? I'm not sure about this one. So these are not uh, in the thing. Um, but the one I wanted to check out is this one. Wait, where's the, where's the 22? Oh, <laughs> do you guys recognize this? Chem power, yes. Wait, this one doesn't have two times 40 kilowatts, does it? Um, because if we look at the plug here, this is, um, let me take a look at it. So it's uh, 63 amp, 400 volt, three phase. Yeah, that means that th you are pulling 43 kilowatt from that one. And that one goes into here. Yeah, so it means that I guess, um, I guess what happens, my, my wild guess is that uh, if two cars charge, I mean, uh, two cars, two boats charge simultaneously, you will split it. Yeah. And uh, technically, if we would get a car over here, I think they use the same protocol. 
then it should work. Uh, I saw on the picture there was another boat here that could possibly take this one. But this is the future, man. Uh, to charge electric boats. Is this also a cruiser boat? Yeah, this is also a cruiser boat. I think, or maybe it's the green uh, uh, boat uh, thingy. I don't see any logo. But you guys have seen this in... Oh, they, <laughs> they just... <laughs> they bolted there. So maybe someone wants to steal it. Well, how, how well did they secure it? Well, I mean, if you try to steal this one, I think you have a lot of uh, witnesses. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, this is the portable chem power uh, uh, charger thingy, whatever you call it. And uh, uh, it's weatherproof. That's the whole thing. So the, the chem power uh, chargers have been uh, made to be weatherproof. So yeah, but uh, whoa, whoa, what, what the heck is that? Wait, 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 I keep seeing stuff all the time. What is that thing? Green. BBgreen.info. I I R I L. Huh. And you know what? I forgot to mention that we have ferries uh, over there. We have electric ferries going from Oslo to the islands over there to Nesodden. Uh, so we already have. We, we have been having ferries in service maybe that way is that one the, the electric one let me ninja it i'm not sure if that one is is it or not yeah but yeah what do you guys think huh um a little different video this time uh, i think I, I don't know about these crucibles but uh i probably i will probably not take this one on a, on a trip but i will visit a boy in Florida. Yeah, yeah, I forgot to mention. In Florida, B BKK, they have also more, not that type, that, but they have the, um, uh, the stationary type. You know, the one with a, with a, a display and, the, well, this one also has a display, but the one you have an Espa. BKK, they also have boat charger in Florida. <laughs> and then Evoy is a company that builds these uh, pretty fast, um, the, it, it's called Ribs, yeah. And it's supposedly the world's fastest electric boat. So I have to get there in July, sometime in July. The whole uh, trip now to North Cape is taking up almost two weeks. So wait, is that boat electric? I have to check. It, it's hard to, I mean, maybe you can see if there's an exhaust on it. Yeah, I'm not sure. No, I. Okay, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but wait, maybe maybe that's the one. Yeah, that's just some local boat. But wait, 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 wait. Maybe this the one that is electric. Yeah, yeah I think so. Wait, wait, wait. It's called Kongen, the king. Hail to the king, baby. Let me let me listen. It's very quiet. Yeah, and it, you know it has a very futuristic design. Wait, 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 wait. What are those pipes? Okay, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> that looks like exhaust pipes, if you ask me. What, is it some hybrid? Because I have to say that it's not that noisy. You know, diesels like this, they, they usually have this distinct... Yeah, so I'm not sure. I have to, so I mean, I, I didn't expect to run into this boat, but I have to do my homework. No, no, it says, I, I found it, I found it. There. It says El Boat. Electric boat. Wow, like a ninja. Man, this stabilization is freaking awesome. So it says El Boat, e electric boat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, nice, nice. So um, anyway, can I put this over here? I think I can. Like this, yes. So now you guys have seen it, uh, a little bit of Oslo. Uh, maybe if you like these episodes where I do a little report about what's going on around Oslo, I can do that, yes. Uh, and maybe if you have tip to what, where I should go also, uh, more stuff going on in Oslo, just let me know and I will check it out. But like I said, for the next um, 12 days now, I'll be busy on the North Cape trip. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. Oh. But yes, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.